remind you that tomorrow we are going to have Angela Jetumobi um, on the discourse at 9 o'clock. It's not 8, it's 9. If you want to stay up from 8, why not? But it's the, the discourse is at 9 tomorrow. And we have Angela Jetumobi. And we're going to be looking at the various players that appear to be emerging um, and assessing some of them and the political landscape for 2023. We have started our own part, that of creating awareness. The rest is up to you. Um, and if at the end of the day, you know, things don't go right, I, I don't want anybody in 2023 saying that you are the one who told us to. <laughs> I hear people blaming me. Uh, or could you be you are the one who told us to vote for Buhari? I don't see things like that now. Uh -uh. You have your own mind. Uh, our job then was to analyze and let you know the various um, options that you had. And you were between a rock and a hard place. I don't know which one you chose. I don't know whether you chose a rock, whether this one you chose is a rock or a hard place. Anyway, today is Friday. We take it nice and easy um, to survive in these turbulent times. You have to gauge yourself. So we won't go into all those uh, political discussions that will raise people's uh, BP. I have a young man here that I met, and um, go on YouTube and see us. Uh, let me have one of those paintings. Uh, go on YouTube and you'll see us. I'll show one of his paintings. He's an artist. His name is Jumbo Shotoye. Did I get it right? Shotoye. Yeah, Jumbo Shotoye. Yes. Yes, uh, he's an artist. I was very, very impressed with his works. He brought one of his works here today, some of them, but I'd like to show this one on YouTube. Uh, I give you five minutes to tune your, to get your, to on your, <laughs> to on your data because uh, uh, I know some of you don't put on your data as well, but so that you can see what I want to show you. I'm very impressed with him. He's a young man. How old are you? I'm 32. He's 32. He's 32. He's an artist. This is what you do for a living. Yes, yes. No other thing. Let me tell you how this man caught my attention. He was introduced to me by my good friend, Ato Arinze. Ato is a sculptor. He's, he, if, you, if you stand for too long, Ato will produce you in wood, bronze, and all kinds of various genres of uh, whatever. You need to see the, the statue that uh, Ato did of Bodiakin Daily. It's as if the man was just walking past. And so he introduced this man to me. I, I buy artworks. I don't buy names. I'm not into names. I'm not into, even with music, I'm not into names. I'm more into what I feel like. I, even with the clothes, I don't wear designer clothes. I wear clothes that I like, you, you know. I, it, I, I'm, I'm so cocky about things like that. I think a designer should pay me to wear his clothes. Not that I should be running around paying an extra premium. For, so all you tell me, I don't do all those things. I, buy, I have some, yes, but I buy things that I like. And so when Ato introduced this gentleman to me, I said, uh, he first of all showed me his works. Then he did something that nobody else has done, I'm not, that, that I know. I'm not saying that other people haven't done, of course, it's done by, but artist, he was the first artist in my life, and I've been buying paintings for only God knows who would also now give me a video of him painting. So, because it's a life painting, he, 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 he must have, he was in front. I have one, Falomar Bridge. I tell you what, I put that Falomar Bridge on my um, Instagram page. Uh, he, he, he looked, he, he, was, he put his chair and table somewhere. Where did you, the Falomar Bridge, where did you put your chair and table? On the, the middle of the road. The middle I, of the road? I did one at, Ted me land bridge. Yes. Yeah, just in the middle of the road. And nobody disturbed you. No, no. Hey, boy is not toxic, make you drop. Make you No. Ah, uh, they don't say you be your boy. That was make you <laughs> drop. <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's from me, Joe. I, I, I'm very proud of him. And so I, I saw the video of him painting it and that regenerated my interest in the painting that this man didn't like like some artists would do uh, take a photograph and then copy from there. He actually did. Then he sent me one recently, you know. But look at the one he brought this morning that, that caught my attention. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not presenting it to you. Will you keep your hands to yourself anymore? <laughs> I'm not presenting it to you. Okay, let me present it to you. But look at it. It's beautiful. Young man, you know, it's beautiful. 
I'm very proud of you. Thank uh, you, sir. Jumbo. That's it. So for those, so you can see it. Um, so this is what you do for a living. Yes. Did you study art? Yes, I did. I Where? Did. Cross River State University. Protect. I see. Yeah. So you have a degree in fine arts? Yes. I do. That's, that's good. Uh, any plan to do a master's or something? No, not No, you already have the talent and you're sure yeah. of what you want. Yes. Uh, also, uh, uh, th that's not a pencil drawing. Is it a charcoal drawing? What is it? It's a dry point. It's called a dry point? Yes, dry point technique. Um, I'm currently under bruise, under repair. So okay. this is um, like one of his techniques in producing art. How did you on. get under Bruce on Where? How did that happen? Okay. Um, I attended the Amazon workshop. From there, I... That, that's after uni? Yes, after university. Okay. So I attended the Amazon workshop. And with that, I became very close with the Hamathan family. Hamathan family? Yes. Who are those? Um, I didn't miss that, Mrs. Hamathan. No, no, like um, <laughs> artists that uh, um, always attend the Hamathan workshop. And I see. Yes, and workers for the Bruce and Network Pair Foundation. So I got w close. What to is them. most important to me that you have said is that after getting your degree, you now made personal efforts to develop yourself. Yes. Did you ever try to like get a job on your own? No. You knew no. from the onset that. That was it. That's it. So how do you, how do you, how do you, um, how do you sell your, your, your products? Through galleries or online or what? Online. Online. You sell online? Insta yes, Instagram. Instagram? Yes, mostly. Do you get a good response from that? Yes, of course. I do. Ah, well, yeah, I do find... Uh, look, I've suddenly been bombarded in Instagram to buy unboxed perfume, to buy <laughs> second-hand clothing. But the Instagram now is a vibrant market. True. So for you guys out there, uh, something is telling me that with the new business in town, you know, if you have your stuff, you, you know, you can put it on Instagram, then the person orders, then you call, there are so many delivery guys okay. in town. You don't need to deliver it yourself. You call the delivery guy, your client pays for delivery, is stated there. If you want to buy this, this is how much it is, delivery to so and so places that you pay, and everybody is happy. So if you, if you have any products out there, don't just sit back and say, Moriti or Kone Gotoli, that means local wood, or for me shop. You don't need a shop. You don't need a shop. You you sell average of how many in a month? I sell like um, five. Do you sell other paintings? Yes, I do. I sell other paintings. Aside from... On, on Instagram. Aside from Instagram, I use my WhatsApp too as an... Oh, yes, picture. definitely. So after making a piece, I make mm. sure that I um, BC it to my contacts. Yes, like you did to me. Yes. And the beauty of what he does is that he sends you... Well, remember, he sends you the painting and the video of him doing the painting, which kind of authenticates. That was a brilliant idea. Is that common with artists to have the... A video of the, I was seeing it for the first time. Let me confirm. If I'm a bushman, tell me I'm not gonna mind. Um, it's 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 not common because mm. that was uh, my concept of um, not just going out there to paint, but to record the um, moment. That the moment. Time. Yeah, because it's something that would change. Like for instance. Yes. Like, yes. Like for yes. instance, the um, Ted Milan Bridge I did. I did um, the house. There was this white house that's on top of the water. Well, recently I noticed that they've destroyed the old one and they, they, are build, they just finished the new building. Well, why did you take the lazy alternative or lazy option of just taking the photograph and reproducing it? You, it won't have the same effect. N not that. The, um, I lose, I lose inspiration. It's like I lose inspiration looking at the um, photograph and painting yes, like yes. it does not have that real yes it does not give me that yes let me let me let me let me run the small commercial here i hope mrs uh what's her name the marketing madam uh, okay. i hope mrs chidi is not listening <laughs> that uh, that's uh have the falomo i bought two paintings from you i bought one beach but that falomo one it inspires me like no man's business. I'm going to buy this one now. I don't want to price it on there. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to buy this one off you. It, it must, 
it's going to be on my head in my studio and i put it up also on my instagram you know but the uh, what determines the price of an artwork uh, it depends for me it depends the, the the amount of time i put into it how yeah. do you value your time Ten thousand per hour. Fifteen thousand per hour. Really? Yeah. Is that scientific? Yes. So that's so how. So how long does it take you to to draw a scene, for example? Four to five hours. hours. Yes. Then the cost of the materials is also a factor too. Do when you and finish, let me tell you. I used to write a column in the newspapers way back. Eh? And I had this funny habit. Once I've written an article, I don't read it. I don't even edit it. It's got so bad that the book that I produced, after the editor had edited it, I didn't read it again. I find it difficult. Same thing with programs. I find it difficult to listen to my program again. I wonder if how you feel if you look, because you see, this is what happens. We are our own biggest critics. Okay, if I if I if I if I watch this show again, I say ah, I should have said this or I should have done that. Then I get so upset. Uh, you know, does it happen to you when you finish a work? Do you continue to look at it? Yeah, it happens to me immediately. Like after finishing the work, I will yes. say, ah, is this good enough? Uh, did I do this thing right? Mm. Did I use the right technique? But after a while, <laughs> maybe after selling it and giving it out away, then for like one or two years i come back to it and look at it maybe in the um, buyer's house i appreciate it and know mm. that okay my time wasn't wasted so you should, come to, you should come to my house and look at that for a long of course do you do you do replicas no no so it's straight original work yes yeah, sorry for the paintings for the paintings okay. uche, uche, uh, jumbo. So tiny jumbo so tiny jumbo you grew up where lagos Port Portacourt. And now you're in Lagos. Yes. Uh, yeah, do, you're doing quite well. Yes. You don't buy moto. No, not yet. It remains small. But very soon. I I'm know. just yeah, holding yeah, back. Just talking about the yeah. money. Make, make the money. Make. <laughs> Which car you could go buy it long car? But no, don't start like that. <laughs> this gentleman inspires me, young as he is, and I, I, you know, I'm always proud to look, you know, to look at his works, and and also to talk to him. He makes me feel very proud that there is still a lot of hope for this generation. We're going to open up our line 0700-993-993-993. And the, female, the line for females, I hate to call it the female line, as if phones have gender. The line for females is, uh, or for madams and aunties and whatever, is 01465-7190. Uh, so, you, so you can call. Um, so are you married? You're 32. Two. Are you married? No. You don't get fiancé, you don't get nah. present, you just do your own. Yes. Don't yes. you don't you want to get married? Don't you want to settle down? Don't you want to have children? Yes, I've been thinking about it lately. Mm. But I just want to take my time. Uh, to sift through yes. all the ones where you get. <laughs> 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 to find the right one. Because it I, matters I, for I, an I artist. See, see searching. It matters for an artist oh, okay. to find the right person. Uh, Amaka was here on Wednesday. He, he said, I will, I will see if I can do it. <laughs> I should run a dating service, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but you are happy at the pace at which you are developing. Yes. The key is patience. You don't have to yes. rush. Just patience. The yeah. things will fall into place in the right time. Mm. Just patience. Mm. So you live permanently in Lagos. Don't you find it expensive to live in? Well, Portacourt is even worse, uh, you know. Do you leave Lagos to do some paintings, by the way? Yes, I do. I go to I, other Are you place. in connection with your roots? Yes. Where exactly are you? You are Joe from where exactly? Bonny. Ah, from Bonny. Ah, I must introduce you to my Bonny friends. They are from Bonny to the Atedos. You know mm -hmm. them? No, I know uh, the name, the family name, but I don't know. The yes, name. Uh, I'll do they must know you. You're a good bunny boy. You're a good ambassador of bunny. Uh, how is uh, your king? He's, he's what, what's, what's his name again? The former banker. Um, what's the name of your king? King um, Williams Asimini. No, Apocryphal. not that one. No. Uh, is it, what's his name? The guy who was the MD of IMB. I thought he was your king. I thought he was king of bunny. 
the guy, the original MD of I I I M B. You don't know. You are lost in thought. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Edward, do I have any callers? Yes, hello, good morning. Good morning, Nigeria Info. Morning, madam. Please go on. Oh, we lost that one. Okay. Oh? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, they are trying to remember you go beat me, Baniku. Yeah, God bless you. Who is speaking? Helen. Ah, Lagos. God God bless you, madam. Thank you very much. You're I, welcome. I owe you one. I owe you, you one. Yes, I'll try to remember Chief Banigo. Okay, hello, morning. Hello. Morning, sir. Hello, this is Corey calling from Shagam. Yes, sir. Uh, why did he... He got frightened. Was it my voice? <laughs> okay, let me try another one. Hello, morning. Morning. Okay, let's continue, Jari. So, uh, so, do you have? Do you take part in exhibitions? Yes, I do from time you, to time. You do. Yeah. Mm. Do exhibitions actually pay? Uh, they do. They do. Mm. But it's um, a way you have to share your. With the galleries, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, but but people complain that the galleries overpriced works. Do you do you agree with that? Mm. That they place too much of a premium, you know, they take it out of the reach. Um, you you go to some galleries. First and foremost, art is like beauty and music. It is in the eye of the beholder. Okay, there's no fixed way. I don't buy names. I'm not interested in hyping. Because I've seen names. I've seen artists just like writers. I don't I don't read what you would call the most popular writer. One of the most popular writers in Nigeria today. I don't I don't enjoy reading. I had to read it in university as if they were kidding me. I don't like reading with a headache. I like to read that's why I like my favorite writer is Chino Achebe. You read it and it's like it's like you know you read it it's like you're having you've woken up now, <laughs> you know. A lot of people think that some other person is the best writer. Good luck. I I just I enjoy Chino Achebe. I enjoy a bit of Cyprian de Quincey, okay. And I handpick like that. I don't go. The same thing applies to arts. I don't buy names. I, I'm not an investor in art. I'm not. You understand because they are two different things. I'm not even what you would call a collector, okay? But once I see something nice I want to put on my wall, I go for it. And you have a lot of promise. Mm? Thank you, and I'm sir. very, very proud of you, and I'm sure that Let me just take one more call, then we'll let you go. Hello, good morning. Hello, Jimmy. Yes, sir. Somebody said he's interested in the boys, uh, the man's uh, artwork is on the Facebook, so check. It's interesting. Okay, that's easy. You can check. Go. You check our own websites and okay. um, go to Facebook. Check the Nigeria Info. Then you in the comments area, you'll see people who might be interested in what you have. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Yes, sir. This one I've wondered about you, day. Hello. All these secret callers. What's going on? Hello. Hello. I'm in the police station. Hello. Morning. No, no. I know the police station. I, I mean, <laughs> Shagam here. Hey, you called us now, and I have to take a break in j less than a minute. Oh, okay, let me call back. I uh, call back. Okay, this is Daily Digest with Jimmy Disu. I gotta take a break. Uh, I'll let you go, Oga, so that you can go face your job for okay. the day. Okay. Uh, uh, before I go, I would like to for those people that are interested in my work. No, you can't advertise. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, no. You want to? You, can you pay the bill? Ah, <laughs> uh, not even I can pay the bill for you. We'll take no, a short break. <laughs> you take a short break <laughs> and we'll be right back.
Stoke Window. Now you can watch live sports from Supersport. In your life have you seen anything like that? As well as movies, originals, award-winning international and local shows, plus kids shows when you sign up at showmax.com. to your number one face in football. Your number one face in football. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is Daily Digest with Jimmy Dissy. Yeah, you welcome back. Um okay, um um, Jumbo, you, you, what's what's your contact in uh, the uh, Instagram your, uh, Instagram handle? Yes, um, S O T Y J, Soti J, Soti J, Tattoo Lagos, Tattoo underscore Lagos. Why do you take such a long? Why do you take such a long? Um, okay. Long name. There are two handles. The Soti J, it's my um, nickname, and the J for Jumbo. Soti J, then the tattoo Lagos. Oh, Soti. Soti J. S O T Y J. Oh, Soti J, okay. Mm, that's okay. the one for the paintings. You find mm. my videos and of me painting. Do you do a video of every painting that you do? Yes. It's standard practice with you. Yes. That's nice. So, um, let's take one or two you know, more you know, um, reactions from our listeners. Any call there? Okay, good. So, oh, the phone number everybody knows the phone number zero seven hundred nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three, and uh, the female number is zero one four six five seven one nine zero. For how long are you going to be able to do this? Do you want to do this till you retire, or you you're going to go back? Are you going to lecture? Are you going to, you know? Um, I don't have um, plans of retirement. So. Just you just straight, want to continue yeah, along this path because it's and grow. fun. It's fun. It's not like I don't take it like a major job. It's fun. It's just go there, have just play, paint. So it's not something you retire from. Bruce Donagre Pair is still working at his age, he's still making paintings. I think he's about 80 now. Yes, it's he's now. about 80, he's about 84 there about. Yes, ah, that's that's good. Okay, we have someone, some people on the line. Hello, good morning. Hello? Hello? Good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Good morning, sir. Who's calling? Hello? Hello? Today, why is today so dull like this? Hello, good on? morning, Uncle Jimmy. Morning. Yeah, I have Ambassador Musba here for Mission. Long time. Ah, Ambassador, how are you? How have you been? Oh, I'm fine. We haven't heard from you for a while. I always are around listening to you. Eh, yeah, but you don't, we haven't, haven't heard from you for a while. And by the way, mm -hmm. can somebody tell me where Comrade Akpan is? I'd like to know that oh. he's alive and well. Eh. Yeah. Uh, okay, please go on. I'll give it to you after the phone call. No problem. Yeah. How are you, my brother? You are doing good. You are doing great. Thank but you. But this question much. I have to ask you. What are you doing to encourage those who are looking forward to have this kind of opportunity? Are you trying to do something for the students, encourage them to have what you are doing right now, to be like you? Okay. You know what it means is that do you do you mentor younger ones? Yes, of course. I you, do. you do that. How? Do. How do you get that done? Okay, with the videos. That's why I make the videos, put it ah, out there for them okay. to learn and yes. see. And it encourages encourages them to grow, mm. and they see my growth also, and in, it inspires it them in return. But do you have those that you teach, you know, um, that you teach, okay. uh, like like maybe it, once in a while I go to public schools to teach them art and so on and so forth. No, no. no you don't. I While I was in university, I used to take my younger ones, like the ones in year one, year two, mm. to teach them painting give them the okay basic it'd be nice all this uh, slum to school places if you can go in there once in a while and have a have an art class you know just yes an art class yes it, that, that i've been be thinking nice. about that lately too because it's good to give back and it's give always back. good mm. to give yes. back um 
look, I, I get what is the satisfaction I get running these programs. The biggest satisfaction I get is when I get a phone call. Like I got a phone call one day from one guy. I said, Uncle Jimmy, I want to thank you. I said, what for? You know, he said, I got him off the streets. Okay, mm -hmm. during Jonathan's time. He said, um, he heard my program one day. Uh, and I got him off the streets. And, and I said, yes, because, and like I'm very crude in my descriptions. I told the boys then that, yeah, yeah, my child, right, sir, my just and mole. Your guys are sending their children to the best universities abroad. You know, so ask yourself 10 years from now, what will you be doing? You know, and, and I, I, that gives me more satisfaction than any money anybody can give me. Uh, you know, I think so. It's also good to, uh, you know, God offers you blessings and so on and so forth. Yeah. And yeah. On, another thing, I I believe that me going on the streets and painting, young children, they see it. Children, oh, yes. They see yes. it and they get inspired. Most of them, they haven't, like, seen But artists don't people look them. at you funny when you put your table and chair in the middle, well, not in, on the side of the yes. road. The area boys don't bother you. Um, at times, depending on the area I go to, they do oh, come. Oh, they do come? Yes, they do come. Uh, what do they tell you? Uh, they find me something. Are you, who, who sent you? What are you doing? Uh, All those questions. Some, they want to extort from you and get something from you. But I'm, I'm not working for anyone, so yes. I don't have anything to give to you. Yes. So I'm, I'm mostly inspired by those children that come and see me painting and they stand. The children, they... Um, actually pay more attention to it. They actually, they are attracted to I, it. I think, I think what is, for those who are listening, especially the younger ones, what, what if you're focused, you will grow gradually. It's not going to happen overnight. True. It's, it's not, I wonder what you think about young people into Yahoo, Yahoo, and all these internet fraud and so on and so forth. What do you think of them? Uh, for me, I have a talent. I, yeah. I don't know about them. They, I don't, I, I just... You go on your own lane. Yes, I go on my own lane because they they might not have anything to... Um, fall back on. Fall back on. But that's a lazy but, attitude. If you think hard enough, there's always something some, you can do. I mean, look know. at, look at, in on Instagram now, people are selling all kinds True. of things. And you don't even need to have the products. If you manipulate your Instagram well, you can, you can sell products that you are even going to you are going to again order from a wholesaler true that happens it happens a lot all the selling t-shirts and this and that when you call them you make an order they quickly put a call through to to the wholesaler and tell yeah. him to deliver to Wemimo at cool fm and so on and so forth a lot of that's going on but you, you need to be you need to be very careful about the food suppliers and those who buy perfumes to you need to be very, very careful. There are a lot of what they call them replicas that are just like the original. Just like the original. So uh, if there's nothing bad in buying a replica, I mean, but know what that you are buying a replica. Maybe say, make, and then, of course, that also goes with the designer T-shirts and so on and so forth. I don't believe it. I wear what is what I think is good on me. And uh, like they say, beauty is in the eye of the whole. I don't know, i got to go. Yeah, thank you I got very to much, go. The techers will be here any minute from now. I'm going to put one or two of his paintings up also to encourage him, and I and I use this moment to you know make a plea to younger people, um, you know that's what I try to do on Fridays, to encourage you to get something done with dignity. Um, I look at some of the uh, the funny thing about the Yahoo Yahoo people is you can spot them a mile away. True. Yeah, and you don't look at them with any dignity. Okay, so they have money, they're driving the best cars, uh -huh, and then and then what again? Okay. You know, um, I would like people to get a life. This country is not going to be like this forever. And all these, uh, if mama could see me now, so, um, if you think that's the way to go, ultimately it's going to go nowhere. You you will need your dignity at some point in your life. That's where we'll knock it off for today. Tomorrow, Angela Jetumabu will be here at 9 o'clock, like I said. And we'll be looking at 2023. I'd like to thank you, um, so tiny jumbo. So jumbo. We go go price this one now before then I put it up in my study. Hmm? All right, okay. madam, that was an inspiring story, wasn't it? It was. Uh, that's a student. Um, what do you call it? Uh, intern. Uh, intern. Why are you looking at her from the corner of your eye? She's you, beautiful. <laughs> she's what? Beautiful. Beautiful. 
with the mask in her face. You don't see that one. I wish you come out. Oh, yeah. Come begin. <laughs> come and be going. <laughs> but, you know, young people are wonderful. What is it? But, you know, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for being here. We'll be back again. No worry, I was just joking. Yeah, we'll be back okay. again. We'll be back again tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning, okay? See you then. Ninety nine point three Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info ninety nine point three. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. Ninety nine point three Nigeria Info.